this time. Yes, that is, could that be a match winner? Well, if the cup, you've been outstanding here at the Shea Tribe Stadium. You might just have done it. Oh, what's going on? I can't believe it, Pakistan. There's certainly a lot of noise. But I'm down found me. I thought he was gone. I thought he was obvious. I thought Chris Gaze was walking. Unbelievable. Oh. The players running all around the place. They've gathered together thinking that Chris Gale is uh, just walking back. And suddenly, he said, let's wait for the umpire to make a decision and the umpire. Oof, it was off the face of the bat. There was a doubt in the last one, but that one, have a look at this. There you go. Oh, he just guided it. He literally guided it to the wicketkeeper. The umpire is unmoved, he reckons it slipped the pad on the way to Sachin Tendulkar and the Indians cannot believe it. Well, incredible take either way from Tendulkar. So here Khan, once again, getting into it. The corridor of uncertainty has to be his like this. And it's straight off the edge. And it's a brilliant catch. It did go pretty quick, didn't it, Shiva? That, that, that was always the big question. If it hit the pad, it would have been slow. That's just a regulation, Nick. What was the batsman trying to indicate? And what a poor decision this is. Quick outside edge. Oh, he's given him. Tendulkar cannot believe it. He's in shock, but he has to go. It was a half-hearted appeal to say the least. And umpire Benson sends the Indian fans into a state of silence. Well, I have to say, well, look at this. Even just a normal motion from our commentary position. He's missed this by miles and it's come so much off the shoulder that you can hear the ooze around the ground. In fact, in fact the players may be calling him back here. This is... Umpire, I think the umpire may be actually calling him back here. Much to the eruption of the crowd here at Kinrara. This is incredible. Now, this is staggering. He'd been given by Benson at the far end of the ground. Mark Benson had given the decision caught behind off the shoulder. Almost the back of the shoulder as well. And Ponting is not happy. He is having a huge crack as Ricky Ponting. And one would feel well, he's within his rights to because the umpire had given him. This is bizarre. Well, this is an interesting turn of events here. A stone faced Ricky Ponting. Well, he's given him. I don't think uh, initially he got near it. I don't think Flintoff thinks he did either. But Doug Cowie has given it. Flintoff has crossed. And we'll soon see who with. Well, I mean, our initial reaction was he didn't get anywhere near the ball. I mean, like, two or three inches. I mean, it's absolutely nowhere near the ball. He's gone for 29. 118 for 6. Couldn't get across in time. He's got it. Dumbies waiting. Umpire Bunton hasn't given him. No, no. We'll have to get on with this. Miss Australia wants to ask a few questions here. What was that? Well, I made this statement to David Hooks this morning. He said, how are they going to hear any nicks? Oh, that's gone a long way as well. That is a big nick. That was visual as well as sound. It goes a long way off the bat, this one. So the Australians, a big shout, all of them ran up, but the uh, umpire, not interested, so a life there for Cumley. Where she's making a comeback into international cricket. Just a couple of moments of luck. For our scorer reckons that was the end of the over. 
Well, it's well fielded, and there's a mix-up here. Mark Waugh's run out. No, he's not. Lehman's run out. Mark Waugh stopped dead. Lehman didn't quite make it to him. Well, he played the cut shot. It was very well fielded. Now they want Mark Waugh off the ground, and I think my reaction, I've got to say, was that Mark Waugh was out. Lehman has left. Will they call for a replay here? I agree totally. My initial reaction was that Darren Lehman had gone past Mark Waugh. And Ganguly's quite right to ask, but I guess once the umpire's made a decision, Tinduka, Ganguly, they're all saying, hey, and Mark Waugh's getting involved in the conversation. If I were Mark Waugh, I'd be walking well away from this conversation because he can only lose. If they call for the third umpire, I would suggest that Mark Waugh is in trouble. Now, the umpires are going to confer whether they can actually call for the replay green. Well, I mean, the, the object of the exercise to share should be to get it right. This is actually a very significant point. It looks as if they're going to ask for it. There's been no signal here. So it may well be that we as a television company will be asked to um, supply some replays if possible here. Bear in mind that we haven't got any pictures, so you've got to bear two things in mind here. Where were the batsmen at the time the bales were taken off? So here we go. War says no. War, oh, he does go past him. He does go past him. Well, just looking at that replay, I would say War went past him. This could be interesting. Lehman may have to come all the way back out here. War was at him and said, no, I didn't go past him. So, um, well, the Indians come into play there, and they say, I want a replay. That's the Indian captain. Now, this is from sideways on. This will tell us the story. Here goes Lehman. The question is, what, what happens? We see the bales. The bales go off. There's no uh, batsman in play there. <laughs> There's no doubt someone's out. Well, let's have a look if this angle gives us anything. Your view, David? Oh, look, Mark Ward, from the naked eye, he went past. And in this situation... From this angle here, will tell you that Mark Wall has gone past. Now, whether he thinks it is a two-dimensional picture with a three-dimensional situation, that may be the only thing. But look at the shadow of Lehman, will tell you. The shadow of Lehman and Mark Wall has clearly gone past that shadow. So that's why Mark Wall, I felt, had to stay out of the argument. Darren Lehman, very much a team-orientated decision. He's just walked straight off. Yes, I think that's what he's done. But I think you're so that looking at the shadows there, let's just watch the ball come in. This is going backwards. Now we've got to go forwards and just have a look to see exactly where they get to here. Now the ball's coming in. Watch the shadows. They leak equal there. And does they, do they go on? A little bit further on. The ball's coming in. Mark Ward now into a position where his legs come together. There's no doubt in my mind that Mark Ward is the man out there looking at it at that angle. Very close, mind you. <laughs> well, pretty tough for the third umpire to make a definitive. With the angle of parallax law, I guess he had to make that decision. But it looked as though he'd gone past. And, well, Darren Lehman has done the absolute right thing. He just scooted off the ground. We should mention also that the umpires in the middle didn't make the third umpire signal. Greg, did they? They just picked up their walkie-talkies. Well, I mean, uh, sure, they didn't make the signal, the signal, but they did ask the third uh, umpire. There's no doubt about that. And we know, from a television point of view, they wanted to see replays. So um, it may well have been that uh, the third umpire thought it was too close to call. Benefit of the doubt goes to the umpire in that case. The outside edge, and there's a mix-up here. This could be out. Oh, it's, oh, he's dropped the ball. Oh, did it hit the stumps? He'll need to see this replay. If the ball hit the stumps, I think Gilchrist is out. If it didn't, then he may well have just got away with it. Now, Gilchrist thinks he's OK. He's walking down the pitch to have a chat to Ponting. This will be interesting. Salia, what do you think? Um, Kalvitan hasn't been able to really take it clearly. We won't be able to see it from this angle. Uh, see the ball down there and see the batsman in. So I think uh, Gilchrist is uh, safe. Yes, he's dropped the ball for a start. Have a look at the ball. Goes out of his gloves. That's bad way keeping. It's down on the ground, out of his gloves. He then hits the stumps. Then the ball hits the stumps. But in any event, the bat's not uh, taking a little bit of time over this. I don't know why. That's uh, B.N. Patidana up there. And um, he'll be pushing that green light in a second. And uh, because it's taking a little bit of time, Gilchrist is probably a bit nervous about all this. Very often, uh, the longer it takes, the more bats would start to worry. There we are. You can see uh, Kalua Thorne getting excited, dropping the ball. Well, he's going to have to watch that ball right into his gloves. He really has to uh, do that because had he been out of his crease, then it would have uh, really gone against the Sri Lankans. There's a bit. Set up and really not been deciding on problem. it. There must yeah. be a problem with the light. He's given it. I think he's made a mistake there. Well, I think he's pushed the wrong I button. Think he's pushed the wrong button. 
Oh, really? Uh, I'm not too sure about uh, 